Hi guys, I just want to show you a few anomalies that I noted on these sites, radar, this site, and uh, the MIMIC site, the total precipitable water. This is now real time, and once again they have these extremely low frequencies being shot from Illinois through the Mississippi into Iowa. Uh, yeah, this they've got this generated and more storms for you guys in the central plains here the uh, tropical moisture generated in the Gulf and on its way to the southern plains Mississippi Valley they're bringing you more flooding I have playlists on my channel one called weather modification the other one called geoengineering. Do not leave me comments that read, you're making extreme claims, but you're not presenting any evidence. Present the evidence. How many times have I said, go to my playlist. I've researched this for over eight years, but I've been on YouTube for eight years. I've been posting evidence in virtually every video I post. Now, you know, yeah, sometimes I post videos and just say, go to the playlist, please. Please, please, be an adult, be mature, take responsibility. You know, it, it's remarkable how many people just want to be spoon-fed the information. I'm not going to do some clicks to get your, to your channel and get to a playlist and learn myself. You tell me. Do you know how many people are like that? Too many. So, damaging winds, large hail, isolated tornadoes. Possible. Likely. Very likely. So, possible. What a stretch. Wow. We've never seen weather like this. Never. When you've never seen something and suddenly it begins to happen on a repeated basis, you need to stop listening to all of these people claiming, oh, they know it's climate change. You need to do the research and begin thinking for yourself. It's really important. Okay, so, yep, the, the precipitation has made it onto radar, and they'll be bringing it right on up for more flooding for you guys. So, earlier today, 4 a.m., because I couldn't sleep, and when I can't sleep, well, I just check what's going on. I live here. As you can see, the frequencies are hitting right here. Look at Nevada. And I check College of DuPage, the all of the clouds that were um, coming into that area where you see the crossing of those beams they all were they all just dissipated disappeared at the crossing of those beams so this is at 4 16 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time and radar just it's off the charts now areas that I've never seen radar so active just happens to be in the central plains 
the states, Nebraska, Kansas, microwaves, extremely low frequencies, high frequencies, and then the site for a time period goes out, goes black. Right there. Not sure what it's about. I can't tell you. Frequencies that have been set off in the southern states have been really pretty, pretty bad. Um, well, when you see these lasers crossing, that portends very uh, bad news. What that news is, nobody can tell you unless they are in the know and they know what is taking place. So, let me um, this is the the mimic not the new one but I want you to see this pulse right here in the Gulf. Oh, I'm going to the old one. I'm in the new one. All right, let's. Come on. You see the pulse? It's big. Right there. Boom. Okay. So, I went to the new mimic. It shows you a pulse, but it also shows you a split in the precipitable waters. Right up through Central America. Boom. I don't know what is going on, but something is going on. Now, this was at 4.16 a.m. And you can see this is not a glitch in the mimic site. This is a frequency causing that. So let's go. And it's still there. This is now real time. It's still there. So I don't know what is happening. But they are sending an awful lot of dangerous frequencies through the central United States. And yes, I know the Navy map, the breaking of the United States in two through central United States. And I want to show you an exercise that's going on right now. A FEMA exercise, Shaken Fury. The Federal Emergency Management Agency will conduct Shaken Fury 2019 involving a series of tabletop, tabletop functional and full-scale exercises in partnership with the U.S. Department of Energy, U.S. Northern Command, state and local governments, and the private sector. The exercise will take place from May 29th through June 7, and utilize a 7.7 magnitude earthquake scenario along the southwest segment of the new Madrid seismic zone.
near Memphis, Tennessee, to incorporate response and recovery missions. The purpose of Shaken Fury 2019 is to evaluate and improve the whole community's response to a no-notice earthquake. No notice. It's just going to happen. Um, interesting that this is taking place now. And how could it be that these agencies are involved in an exercise the 29th through June 7th, which they have three more days of this exercise, um, when massive flooding is occurring in this area. And in real time, people need a whole lot of help. I don't understand. So, you know, this exercise, this splitting, this frequency, seen right here, all of the frequencies that we have been seeing, the massive flooding, the areas where water is just sitting. And yes, you can do the research. Rivers, they have a whole lot of scientists claiming that rivers can cause earthquakes. Flooding can cause earthquakes. Um, I, I really hope nothing is... <laughs> Yeah, I do know the Navy map, all right? I Will they bring that about to manifest? Perhaps they will. So I, I really just wanted to show you this, um, the pulse and the frequency right here in the Gulf. Yes, they will be bringing more flooding to you. More communities will go under. But we've never seen anything like this. So please um, put on your, your adult hats. Do some research. Uh, I've got evidence on my channel. There are so many channels with evidence. There is so much evidence that man is controlling weather. All links are below.